Love them or hate them, cranberries are a staple of the holiday season. And it turns out New Jersey is one of only five states in the entire country to produce them. So we have come to Chatsworth in Burlington County to visit Pine Island Cranberry and see how it's done. We are the largest cranberry producer in New Jersey and I believe one of the top three cranberry producers in the world. We have 1,400 producing acres of cranberries with a total of 14,000 acres of supporting woods as well as water and reservoirs. Stephanie Haynes is a fifth generation grower. The Haynes family has owned their farm in the Pine Barrens region of New Jersey since 1890. We produce an average of 30 million pounds every season. So how do cranberries actually grow? They grow on vines just like this in a dry bed. They can grow for as long as they are producing. We have a couple of bogs with patches of vines that we believe are at least 90 years old and are still producing cranberries. So your family has been in this business for 130 years. I would imagine the way you harvest has evolved. Yes, when we started, like everybody else, in 1890, it was dry scooping, which is backbreaking labor. Uh, you don't get everything. So back in the 1800s, this is how they did it. This is how they did it. Oh my goodness. That is not easy. Who needs a gym when you can harvest cranberries the old fashioned way? When my grandfather introduced wet harvesting to the state in the 60s, it was a game changer. It was a lot easier on the vines and it got us a lot more fruit. Cranberries are uniquely suited to a water harvest because they actually contain four hollow chambers, which help them to float. The harvest runs annually from mid-September to the first week of November. Typical day starts very early. We will put water in a bog, just a little bit, just enough for the uh, berries to get a little bit of a lift. And then we will bring in a machine called the Gates Harrow, which will lift the berries off the vine. When that is all done, we will flood the bogs to about waist high. So what are we seeing happen right now? They are getting ready to gather the berries and clean them. We've got two custom-made lower tractors. We'll attach each end of that yellow boom. It hangs down below the water a little bit and it keeps any berries from escaping. They'll bring the boom around from this side and from that side. So the cranberries eventually will meet here. Yes. They will we'll meet in the middle. It'll be in a big bright red circle. Absolutely beautiful. Roughly how many cranberries do you think are right behind us? If this bog is anything like yesterday's, we're looking at 500,000 pounds. 500,000 pounds? 500,000 pounds, about 500 barrels. The berries then make their final journey from the bog up through a machine that cleans them, then go cascading into trucks that will bring them down the block to the Ocean Spray Receiving Facility. You will see New Jersey cranberries in just about everything, in the Ocean Spray juices, in the juice blends, in the cranberry sauce, but you will mostly see New Jersey cranberries in the craisins because they are the perfect size. This farm has been in my family for five generations now. We've got fourth, fifth, sixth generation cranberry growers in Burlington County. I think families want to continue harvesting cranberries here because it really is a unique opportunity. There's nothing else like it in the world.